Hello and welcome to Megamobile Austria and this is where you can both rent and buy Megamobile camper vans. Now the one I've got here in front of me is on an MAN basis and you'd be looking at around 85,000 euros for something like this but it is fully equipped solar, it's got lithium batteries, it's got fully equipped up front so not only has got cruise control but it's got distance measuring and many other features as well. So uh, this as I said Austrian we've got views of the Alps of course the views would be better if it wasn't so misty today but in this direction you can see the high mountains with snow on them. This is now October so uh, the snow has probably been there since last winter and here we have an extremely vicious looking dog and there we have the back of the van. Let's now go in, uh, into it. So there's the address if you want it. Uh, Meet Camper, M-I-E-T. Now if you saw the faulty towers with the Germans and there is this bit where some German guests come to Basel Faulty, uh, played by John Cleese, and they said Wir wollen ein Auto mieten, meaning we would like to rent a car. And Basil Faulty thinks that what they've said is that they're volunteering to get the meat. Anyway, just a little joke there to start off the look around this vehicle. So, it, as I said, it's the rental model and this takes you in it. And in these conditions, I think it is somewhat different to what you see in a hall. This is now a real vehicle, so to speak, and it's a uh, rather than one that's just being put up for show. Anyway, I'm going to start off here with this. So let's just turn, uh, turn this on here, and that's uh, turn the lights on as well. So we've got that and let's go into the bathroom to kick off with. So there's me in the mirror and um, for a vehicle like an MAN as a camper uh, it's rather a large and I'm gonna turn this thing here around so you can see me. So it gives you a better idea how much space there is and uh, take that back like that. As you can see here there is a sliding door there I'm in the shower and actually that isn't too bad I suppose given the size of the vehicle back round again and so we have the toilet here we have the sink and uh, for the purpose of show we've got this in here because you probably would take it take it out unfortunately there's only one uh, plug in there and it's a small one at that so I'll put that more or less back as it was. And here to keep the toilet from getting wet is this, this character here. This thing comes across like that. And then you supposedly you should come in and have your shower with this thing here like that. If that's uh, what you think it should be. <laughs> I'd probably just leave, no, you'd have to put it there. You couldn't leave it open because if not, you wouldn't have access to the uh, the water there, right? So anyway, so we'll close that. Now. No, I won't. I'll, I'll close this back here. One little feature I think is, of course, useful is to have a place to hang your towels on. So let's now uh, come to the kitchen. There you go. Two burners and a sink. Uh, once more, fortunately, it's got the domestic. So not the non-domestic, the small one, but at least it's sort of one of these ones that comes out just a little way that allow the water to go up and then you, you collect all the bits off your food uh, like that. Okay, under here, of course, oh, this is a rental model, so they <laughs> did, did provide those things. Oh, and there's some more stuff in there. Oh, it's, it's looking absolutely as it should do here. Yeah, pans. More pans, plates, ah, 
using a system to stop them rattling, you know, so this, these things in there. And down here, more equipment. Oh, so if you rent from here, you're getting quite, quite a lot. Right, now here we've got two seats, a forward-facing bench. Now the forward-facing bench can be moved so that there's more space between the two. As you can see, here we've got a space in the, uh, there. So this is, this will stretch out. And we do that by pulling this out from here. Unfortunately, it's not a particularly good system. This will come out and in my opinion, it takes two hands and I am not going to pull it out the full way. The, uh, I think one needs to give some support from another hand on, on this, but, uh, on the whole, uh, it's not such a, it's not so, it's not so good. And I would personally leave it in that position. So there's the table and up front here. So this is the top of the range um, uh, van from MAN. So it's 180 horsepower in the three and a half ton class. So it's a 3.180. Three means it's three and a half tons gross vehicle weight and the 180 is the amount of horsepower it's got. As you can see, this one is on an automatic gearbox. It also has a particularly large uh, screen for navigation and all the other things it's used for. And another point which I appreciate is that there is no storage above, meaning you can get a lot of headroom when you are here. Uh, storage here. And here we have the control panel, which usually I don't get a chance to actually show you, but I can do right now. So, is there any water in it? No. Any wastewater in it? No. So it's been it's sorry, it's been cleared out. This is the water pump. So, so uh, you can hear the water pump going, but uh, no water in the system. Okay, up here we've got the Truma iNet ready. So that's the time, twelve forty-six, and uh, first of all we've got the temperature. Of, so off now, but I can turn it around. Five five degrees. The uh, uh, temp. The, the it will come on six seven. So I can sort of uh, set that like that. And now let's go along here. Here is the uh, the the water heater. So it's echo hot or boost that does it really quickly. And. Fuel. Now this is more curious because either A, you can have it mixed between diesel, this is a diesel heater, diesel and electric, one, two. Uh, one is 900 uh, watts and, one, uh, and uh, two is 1.8 kilowatts. So electric one, electric two. And there's the fan, which is off, ventilator, uh, or anyway, I'll turn that one off. So, and these things here, uh, that's to set the time, and that's the, um, so if anything goes wrong with it. So anyway, there's some ideas on that. Um, right, uh, now we'll come to the clever bit, which is at the back. So we've got here one of these fridges that opens both ways, and uh, storage here. And below, down here, this is a step to get into bed. Comes out like that. I'll leave it there. <laughs> right, okay, bed. You've got storage all the way around. Big uh, window at the back. And here we have the particularly clever bit. What that? The electricity? No. That? No. This thing up here. This is the thing which will make the bed go up and down. So let's have a look at the bed going up. Of course it helps if you turn the thing on.
Right, so it will go up a little bit further, but because I didn't push the uh, pillows down at the back, uh, um, we'll leave it at that. This shows you now how much space you've got under here. You've got the huge amount of storage space, easily get a bicycle in there. Now, it, uh, what if you obviously you want to put the bed down at night? Where would the bicycle go? Well, the bicycles have to go outside and then uh, be chained up outside the van. But um, that is an idea. And this uh, can go at any position you want it to. So let's supposing you wanted to put it down a little bit. Something like that. You've still got enough room above for your head, as long as you don't mind being too close together. And at the same time, you've still got enough space down here for a couple of bikes. So, uh, storage, yeah, did I show that? I can't remember, might have done. <laughs> and um, uh, sometimes I forget what I've done because uh, I change the order I do things in every video. Let's go on the back. You'll even turn the lights off. No, I'll leave the lights on for a moment. So uh, here we've got, you know, that's external gas. If you want to watch uh, the television outside, uh, well, you can plug it in there. Alternatively, you can plug anything else you want in there, and that's your water inlet. So that's the space at the back. Uh, There's your gas, and in this case, you're getting it with one, and the rest of it's used for other things, such as a watering can. The watering can is particularly common in Germany, where people will use, uh, go to the, the, the well or the, the, the water point and just fill up the watering can. And, okay, now look at that. You've got this, this lithium ferrous oxide battery down there fuse box and there's the MPP, MPPT solar charge controller as well. As you can see here though, there's space to increase the uh, the battery capacity. So this is a 100 ampere hour battery. And you could easily get another one in there, even get a longer one in there. For example, mine which is 250 would fit in there as well. Storage space below that. And on the other side, we've got what's down here. It's the water tank. And more storage there. These things, uh, the blackout, can go on the outside and on the inside of the vehicle. And there's additional storage there. Not doing much with that. And here as well, there's your water pump, which you might have heard earlier. So, on the whole, I think this is a very nice van. I really like the, 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 this bed. And I think it's particularly good. Uh, it gives so many possibilities for carrying and uh, I think with my own uh, VW Sprinter conversion, whenever I get around to doing it, then I want to put something like that in. That solves all sorts of problems. So anyway, show you uh, some of the other things we have here. There's, there's a bit clearer now the view than it was before, but still can't see the Alps unfortunately anyway so i'll bring this one back on there's the dog the dog's back and uh not my dog my dog died uh last month so she won't be in any more videos except those which i haven't uh published yet so thanks very much for watching and uh so if you do uh 
if you are thinking of going to this area, I always tell people to rent before they buy. So here's one place you can rent from. So you've got the, the address there. And if you um, want to see it again, I'll put it in the description box at the same time with a link to the, the link that will give you uh, the cost of rentals as well. Of course, you can actually buy it. You can buy it from here or from any other uh, distributor as well. Thanks for watching and all the best from me in Austria.